Hi, my name is Angel uh, from Enticing Coffee, and today I want to show you how to make Cuban coffee at home. Now, Cuban coffee blend is very similar to the Italian espresso blend. Uh, most likely, you're going to have 70% Arabica, 30% Robusta to make it an adequate blend. Uh, the difference is that with the Cuban blend, we're going to roast it for a longer period of time to make it darker, to make it stronger. Now, when you roast the coffee beans for too long, you extract the oil out of the beans. If you look at coffee beans, you see the kind of shiny kind of oil. What that does is makes it really bitter, right? Cuban coffee is really bitter, that's why we put so much sugar in it. Uh, we're gonna make it into one of these. Uh, so you can see they come in different sizes. They're called mocha pots, uh, percolators, espresso makers. We call it the cafetera. Cafetera, you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them online, you can buy them at any store. You should have wrote about $20 or less. And I wanna explain to you how it works. This bottom part right here, that's where the water goes. It's called the boiler, okay? This is where you put the coffee, it's called the funnel. Okay, and the top chamber is called the kettle. Now the kettle has a filter, okay? And the filter is held in place, but it's sealed. So you put it right there, make sure it stays right there. Now, the way it works is when the water right here gets hot, it creates steam. The steam creates pressure, and the pressure pushes the water up through the water funnel, to, I'm sorry, to the coffee funnel, all the way to the kettle, okay? Now, when you put water in the boiler, okay? Stay below the safety valve, okay? Do not pass the safety valve, stay below the safety valve. Now, the funnel, if you have a grinder at home, you can use fresh ground coffee. If you don't, you can use ground coffee. Yes. nice and tight. Now, do not overpack this, okay? The reason why, because when coffee gets wet, it will expand. If it expands, it's gonna block the water from going out, okay? That's why you have the safety valve right here. So it will not explode on you, you don't make a mess in the kitchen, right? So what you do is seal it back up and put it in the stove, right? Now we're gonna work on the sugar, the sugars will make the spumita, the foam, okay? You can use raw sugar, okay? Or you can use regular sugar. Now since not everybody likes raw sugar, today we're gonna to use uh, regular sugar, right? Now remember I told you Cuban coffee is really bitter, right? So don't be shy with the sugar. I use sugar for a size like that, for a size of a cafeteria that way. That size, I use about four spoons of sugar. Now, the sugar we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of coffee on it. Usually we're gonna wait for the first drops of coffee to come out. The reason why, because that's the strongest coffee. And we're gonna do, we're gonna mix it as hard and as fast as we can to make a paste out of it, right? So what we do is, we come here, we wait for the first drops of coffee to come out. You see it right there? All right? And then we're gonna put just a little bit right here. Okay, then we're gonna put it back in the fire. And then with a spoon, we're gonna mix it and we're gonna make it into a paste. Do it as fast as you can, as hard as you can. Now, this is why Cuban grandmas are always so strong because they do this every single day, a couple of times a day. See what you wanna do? You wanna make it into a paste. You see a small coming out of the percolator? I wish you can smell that. That's the coffee pouring right there, percolated. Smells really, really good. See how nice this looks? Keep doing it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the coffee, we're gonna, we're gonna pour it into this container right here, we're gonna mix it up, right? Don't forget to turn the stove off. And you're gonna grab it right here. And you're gonna put, put the coffee in there.
You're going to mix it up. See how nice it looks? And that's what you call espumita. See right there? Now, how do you serve this? Different ways, okay? You can serve as a regular cafecito, okay? Right here. See the espumita on top? You can do a macchiato. Macchiato in Italian means stain. So you do, you got an espresso, and you stain it with a couple of drops of milk, right? That's a macchiato right there, okay? You can also make a cortadito. What's a cortadito? Half milk, half coffee. And you can also make a cafe con leche. Cafe con leche is a latte. It's a big cup of milk. You put a little bit of coffee in it. Okay. Now, if you have company at home, you can serve the coffee in the edible coffee cups. You got chocolate, you got sugar icing, and you can buy them at www.enticingcoffee.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're gonna try this at home. And if you wanna watch more videos, you can go to enticingcoffee.com. Thank you.